Hello everyone, welcome to Break It Yourself. Today we are reviewing the Brio X24. My version has the core 10 sides and no sear plate. So full disclosure, Brio did send me this X24 free of charge. So your little shill alarm should be going off because they sent me the X19 last year and they sent me an X24 this year. So just gonna get that out in the open so that you know, take everything I say with a grain of salt. I still try to achieve an as unbiased review as possible. But of course, this company sent me something for free, which is very kind. So keep that in mind. I will say, one of the things that I appreciate most about Brio in sending me these two products is they didn't ask for anything in advance, not even a review. There was no, I didn't sign a contract, nothing like that. I've had companies, guys, in the past that have been like, hey, we had this product, will you please sign this contract, do a review. I look at the contract, I can't make a competitor's video for three years. They have to have creative input. I have to send them the video ahead of time. Brio did none of that. They stand behind their product. They're so confident in it that they packaged it up, sent it, and that was it. I didn't hear any pressure about, hey, can we see it? Nothing. Can you say this? Not at all. Absolutely nothing. So that makes me trust them a lot. And I just want you to know that, that not all companies do that. Definitely take any review that something was sent for free, take it with a grain of salt. So I'm just being honest with you, letting you know that this X24 and the X19 last year, both were sent. If you're looking at the X24, you're probably also looking at the Solo Stove Yukon. And I've done a comparison between the X19 and the comparable Solo Stove last year. So I have a good bit of experience comparing the two. And I'm gonna touch on some of those pros and cons again with the X24. The main thing up front is you're gonna notice the price. Last year, before the price increases, the costs were much more similar. So you'll hear me in that X19 review saying, hey, it's very similar to a Solo Stove. Brio's prices have gone up, so have Solo Stoves. Brio also changed their structure of how they sell these pits. So now you're gonna have the base pit and it's gonna be core 10 steel. It's not gonna have the sear ring. To upgrade to stainless steel is gonna be extra and then to upgrade to the sear plate is also gonna be extra as well. Base model X24 is still about $100 more expensive than the Solo Stove Yukon at the time of this filming. So keep that in mind. Also, the X24 is about double the weight. Now, some people might see that as a con. I don't move mine around, not a con to me at all. That just means build quality to me. Also, the Brio is made in America. The Solo Stove is made in China. To some people, myself included, that's kind of a big deal. I'm trying to buy American as much as I possibly can. So I'm a big fan of Brio, although they have gone up in price and they seem to be, in my estimation, built a little bit better than the Solo Stove. Just because maybe not necessarily built better is the way to phrase it. I should correct that and say that I believe it'll last longer just by nature of the metal being much thicker. So the Solo Stove, you're gonna have thinner metal, the Yukon weighs about 38 pounds and the X24 almost is double that. Comes in, I believe, at 74 pounds. They're roughly the same size in diameter, give or take an inch or so. So they're very comparable that way. When it comes to actually the fire itself, they're gonna be very similar. I found with the Solo Stove that I thought it lit up maybe a little bit faster, hair faster, and potentially burned through a little bit more wood versus the Brio. Honestly, not that big of a deal at all. These style fire pits, these smokeless, smokeless uh, fire pits, they go through a bunch of wood just by nature of all the oxygen that you're putting into that fire. It's gonna burn through a lot of wood, especially to get that reburn going, it takes a good bit of wood to get that going. So if, you, if you're looking at the smaller versions like the X19 versus the X24, you're, I've done a video on that that you can go ahead and check out but keep in mind that the X24, just by nature, is gonna go through more wood. Now, one of the things that I like 
the Brio over the Solo Stove 4 is for actually grilling. So you can get the Outpost grill and Solo Stove actually does make a grill now as well. That's something that they've come out with recently. And I'm still partial to the Brio Outpost just because you can change that cooking height if you want to. And you can also get that sear ring if you wanna do that as well. So you could have the grill to do your grilling. You can adjust the height to get different temperatures. You could also get that sear ring as well. So I think it's a little more versatile versus the solo stove system. I'll just give you an example. I'm a big fan of reverse searing steaks. You wouldn't be able to do that on the solo stove by itself. The Brio with the outpost, you absolutely can do that. You can move the grate up higher away from the fire. You're gonna get a lower temperature at that height. And then you're gonna be able to slowly bring that steak up to your, you know, let's say 120, 125 degrees F. And then you can lower that grate all the way down to, to the very bottom and then do your sear to finish with that reverse sear. And I'm a huge fan of that. That would be not achievable with the solo stove setup just because their grilling surface is a set distance from the fire and you can't change that. Another thing that I really like about the Brio and I'm actually utilizing it now is that you can mount them inside of bricks or pavers or whatever you want to buy. They make a ring that the fire pit can sit inside of. So they make this for all of their fire pits in the X series. And so for the X24, I wanted to try it out. I've got a video all about that as well that you can check out, but I think that is a plus as well because you can really dress this thing up really nice on a patio with a brick surround. And I think it looks absolutely awesome. And uh, that's just not gonna be an option for you with the solo stove. So you can get that, looks really nice. I also got the cover for the X24 so that once it's cooled down, I just put, the, I clean the ash out and then I put that cover on and I don't have to worry about it at all. Rain, doesn't matter. I don't even think twice about it. And then when I wanna do a fire, take that cover off, go ahead and build my fire. This is just a general note. You're gonna see in some of my B-roll that I have logs around the fire. I don't always do that, but preheating the wood I have found helps the wood to catch quicker. Um, I kind of discovered that in my barbecue and smoking life and then kind of brought that over to the fire pit as well. So the Brio kind of lends itself well to that because if you have the sear ring then you have plenty of space to put the wood on or if you have that stone or bricks around, you can do the same thing as well. Now this is a critique of both the Brio and the Solo Stove. One thing that a lot of people say is they don't give up much radiant heat. I actually think that is true. You're gonna go on forums and people are gonna argue back and forth. And I'm sure people will even say in the comments, like you're a moron, you don't know what you're talking about, tons of radiant heat. Generally, the way these fire pits work is most of your heat is just going upwards. So you really gotta kind of stand and get closer to them to really get a ton of heat. In my X19 to the Solo Stove comparison, I did find that the X19 was giving off more radiant heat. It actually had a much higher temperature on the outside of the fire pit than the Solo Stove. The X24, same thing, gives off a lot of radiant heat, still not as much as a traditional fire pit would, but I think it's more than the Solo Stove. And again, you're just gonna lose most of that heat upwards. And Solo Stove has started to make a heat deflector and other companies, uh, Amistad Grill comes to mind. I'll link them below. They also make a heat deflector that you can buy for your X19 and 24 and 30 as well. So that if you really need a ton of heat off of this thing, that you can achieve that. Now I did a video all about comparing the X19 to the X24 and talking about the searing versus no searing. I have to say that I am partial to not having that sear plate. And I go way more in depth in that video that you can check out, but generally I think that you're gonna give off a little bit more radiant heat without kind of choking down that diameter with that sear plate. So just keep that in mind that I think not having the sear plate gives off a little bit more heat um, to the surrounding space. Now I will say, I have the luxury of not really needing a sear plate. I have other grills and things that I can sear on with no problem. And if I really wanna grill on the X Series 24, then I'll just throw the Outpost grill on there, no issue. But if you don't have places to sear, definitely consider the sear ring. Okay, so I gave you a lot of the pros, especially versus the Solo Stove. Now let's talk about some of the cons. I mentioned this already. 
the Brios are very expensive. I mean, if you're getting into the 24 inch, 27 inch size kind of game anyway, you're looking at 500 plus dollars. Doesn't matter if it's Solo Stove or Brio. So it is very expensive, but the Brio, I mean, if you wanted to make it stainless steel and you wanted to add the sear plate, you are getting into significant money. You're looking at six, seven, eight hundred dollars for a fire pit. Add in the outpost grill, you're looking at another $120, $150. So this thing can add up very quickly. You want to get the cover or the, at least the steel, I'm sorry, the steel cover. They also make a canvas cover. You're looking at the steel cover, another $125. You want the ring to be able to mount it inside of stones or pavers. I mean, all these things can add up. It's very expensive. I do like the product. I am a fan of the product. I think it's very well built and it's going to last, especially compared to that thin wall solo stove, but it is still very expensive. Another con, and I pointed this out on the X19 video last year, and I try to say it really in all of my videos, versus the solo stove, the Brio gives off significantly more heat on the bottom of the fire pit itself. I was very impressed with the solo stove that on the underside, I really felt safe. It was up on a stand that I had, and I could kind of put my hand under there, no issue. I would really have no problem putting it on my deck and did multiple times. The Brio definitely gets much, much hotter on the bottom. I would not put it on a deck. If you put it in grass, you're absolutely gonna kill whatever grass that you have there. And please listen to this. If you have a patio, you put it directly on a patio, you can damage the concrete. What's gonna end up happening is that concrete directly under the fire pit is gonna wanna expand and it can't go out, so it's gonna end up going up. So you can get these kind of craters created in your patio. So be careful. They suggest putting it on stone. You can put it up on pavers as a very cheap solution. You're definitely gonna want to consider putting something underneath it. Again, I'll say this, Amasad Grill Company, I got a stand um, that I bought from them. This is not sponsored by Amasad by, by any means, but they had a good product. I bought one for my X19 and it was awesome. It sat right in it, had a footrest, kept it up off of my deck, really shielded the deck from that heat great product i've had it outside for a year it's just black steel and um or painted black steel and it's done an awesome job so you can check those out as well but again just an added cost to kind of achieve whatever it is that you're going for the last con of the x24 and this goes for i think all x series because they have that x in the bottom of them they are a little challenging to clean out so brio makes a tool i just use a little garden trowel maybe it would be easier for me if i had the proper tool but cleaning i think can also be a little bit of a pain it seemed in my limited testing that the solo stove did a better job of just burning through absolutely everything and not having much ash left over at all the Brio, it's my perception that I'm getting more ash left over and then I'm having to clean it out, which is not that big of a deal. I mean, you have you would have to clean the solo stove anyway as well. I just think the Brio was a little bit more ash and cleaning can be a bit of a challenge. If you have the right tools, I think it's fine, but you definitely are gonna wanna clean it out before you let it get rained on or anything like that. You don't want wet ash sitting in the bottom. Doesn't matter really, how thick your steel is. That's just not a good recipe for corrosion right there. I hope this review and pros and cons of the Brio X24 was helpful for you in your journey and trying to select a fire pit. Again, I'm a fan of the Brio, but I cannot decide for you. So again, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching Break It Yourself. As always, don't forget to thumbs me up and we will see you next time.